come on. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hello, it's me again, Shira from Food Meets Food, and today we're gonna do Polish cuisine. I've been intrigued to try Polish food for a really, really long time. So we're gonna try it today and tell you our verdict. Come with me, let's explore. Oh my goodness, the restaurant is so beautiful. I have never seen such decor, ever. It is so nice, so beautiful. It's so warm, at the same time it's so different. It's very, very unique. I have never, ever seen this. Look at that. It just feels like you're in someone's house who's about to cook you some authentic food. Oh, I love it. The lady who welcomed us was really, really nice. She was very welcoming, asked us where we want to sit. She's gonna help us decide what to pick, but no matter what we pick, it's gonna be traditional Polish food, which is good. I'm just gonna go through the menu and then we're gonna decide. Could you please pronounce that for me? Yeah. Są trubki drobiowe smażone z jabłkiem i cebulką podane z pire z ziemniaków oraz mizerią na słodko i kwaśno. That is exactly what we're having. What you had is what we're having. Do you want me to translate? It's fried chicken liver with apple and onion served with mashed potatoes and sweet stroke sour cucumber salad. Yes. That sounds nice. <laughs> that sounds heavenly. Oh my god, I want that. I want it now. We'll get the pierogi mixed. Ukrainskie i mięso. Okay. The meat is the combination of pork and beef. Yes, exactly. Okay. Do you think that will be enough? For two people? Yeah. No. Maybe you take the rice soup. It's very traditional Polish soup. It's soup in the bread. Mm -hmm. With egg inside. Oh, we have to get that one. What's the name of the soup? Żurek w chlebku. Do you have traditional Polish drinks? Uh, mold wine or honey meat. It's very traditional Polish. We'll get the honey meat and, uh, and mold wine. traditional mold wine. How cute is that? They bring you a candle inside there. They bring a candle inside there and then place a drink on top. So the mulled wine doesn't get cold. I'll, tr I'll start with honeymoon and then go to the warm one. Oh my god. Oh wow. Mm. That is beautiful. That is so good. Mm. And then we'll try the mulled wine. Oh, that is lovely. Mm, that has warmed me up. Oh. I'm in love with this place. I, I'm in love with this place. I don't know why I'm doing that. It just feels nice. Plus, I know it's toasted. I can see it's toasted. So that's the patty rice soup. That looks so good. It's, it comes with sausage, potatoes, a boiled egg. And I'm just gonna dig in. I would assume this is soup that's served mostly in winter. I'll taste the soup on its own. Those sausages are so, so, so tasty. You can taste the garlic in them. You can taste the herbs. Oh, it is so lovely, so tasty, so warm, so hearty. And it's nice and thick and warm. I'm gonna try some with some bread roll. It works so well. The seasoning in that, spot on, on point. I would not add even a little bit of seasoning, nothing. You can taste the flavors immediately, it hits your tongue. Love that. I'm gonna move on to the dumplings. If I understood correctly, that's the Ukrainian dumpling. And then these two are the meat dumplings. I'm gonna cut into the Ukrainian mix, which is the potato one. It's got potato and soft cheese. Mm. Mm. It's 
got an unusual sourness, like just a little bit of a sourness, I think from the cheese. So this dish can either be fried or boiled and they boil theirs. I thought I wouldn't like it because it's boiled, but I actually really, really love it. I'll try the beef one. Mm. That is amazing. That is so good. The flavors. And you can tell they haven't used a lot of spices. It's like natural flavors, if you know what I mean. It's just like seasoning and just knowing what you're doing when you're cooking it. Wow. Ooh, and the main dish is here. This is the star. So it's the chicken liver, fried chicken liver, which comes with mashed potatoes and the cucumber salad. We've also gotten sauerkraut. And just from looking at it from first sight, I can see it's got sausage inside it. They love the sausages, yeah? And I'm not complaining. Ka-ching-ching. -ching. Whoa. Mm. It's basically cabbage which has been cooked. It's been fermented and then cooked. And then they've added the sausages and the salt, pepper, and maybe other seasonings. That is good. I'll try some mashed potatoes just on its own. I'll try everything on its own and then I'll go and eat it all together. Why are those potatoes sweet? I would add more salt. I'm sure if you mix it together, it's different. I'll try the chicken liver. Come on. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. If you've never eaten chicken liver, this is a place to come eat it. Wow. Sweet and salty is always a win for me. And that is absolutely a win. That bit is very, very, very crispy. Nice and crispy, not in a bad way. But yeah, it is nice and crispy. The onions complement everything. The onions, wow. I never thought onions would make such a big difference in a dish, but they do. I'll try the cucumber salad. Immediately I look at it, I can see it's got dill and I think sour cream. And they've put some sugar in it. Wow. Bow. Mmm. That is good. I don't like cucumber. But that is, give that to me, I'll eat it any day. Well, I think I'll ask for the recipe of the cucumber salad. And I'll be making it. That is so good. That could make me famous, you know. Damn. I've mixed the three together and now I'm going to try them. I know it looks like a big bite. It is actually a big bite, but oh well. Mmm. Wow. Polish food really is underrated. I have really enjoyed the food here. I've enjoyed my experience. I've enjoyed the customer service. I've enjoyed everything about being here, the ambience, everything has been lovely, even the music. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. See you in the next episode.